G'day team, Uncle Jojo Warm Jig up to a ripper of an episode. Today we're just going to talk about cement sheet fixing. Now, when we're putting claddings onto the wall, we have to fix them in certain ways. Plasterboard is usually fixed along their external edges and glued in the centre. Cement sheet in a bathroom area is very different to that. It has to be nailed or fixed in positions where it will be stuck to the actual frame, the timber frame behind it. The reason being because it holds a lot of load. What's called dead load. So a load that doesn't move. Material, all different types of material, are considered to be dead load. They don't move. Once they're on there, they're loaded onto the framework. When we've got, for example, in this bathroom, floor to ceiling tiles, we need to make sure that this entire wall has been fixed in position. Otherwise, if we try and leave cement sheet the same way that we'd leave plasterboard and we've only done the external edges, the weight of the tile and the glue will actually peel this cement sheet straight off the wall and everything will come with it. The tiles will become drummy at the minimum and start popping off the wall. They're the last things that we want to do after investing so much time and money into this. So what we do is we find out where all of our timber studs are and we flick lines into patterns. Typical, particular different types of board has to be fixed a particular type of way. So you have to check out, if not the Australian Standards or the NCC, the Australian Standards or AS, NCC, National Construction Code, or the manufacturers, the manufacturers specifications on how to fix it and where to fix it, how close, all that jazz. So, we're gonna go and start fixing this off. Come and check, 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 it, check this out. And if you've got any questions about it, flick it over. <laughs> Once we've nailed off the wall, what we want to do is we want to run over the whole wall and just give them a bit of a tappity tap tap in so they're flush with the face. When we come to then waterproofing this area, what we'll do is make sure that every single one of these is flat and punched so it's at the surface or just a little bit lower so it's indented. And then what we can do is make sure that our waterproofing is going to be nice and flat all the way through. Nothing is going to pop out from it. Also, if we don't have our nails in it, it'll kick our tiles out and our tiles won't be sitting flat with the wall. Last thing we want. So proper fixing all the way through. We'll also use glue behind the sheets as we're fixing it. But this section where we're actually nailing it or face fixing it, mechanically fixing it, has to be done correctly. If you have any questions or queries regarding fixing cement sheet as we're going, click it over, I'll answer it for you best I can whenever I can. Thanks for watching, and like always, stay on Ruben on a beer low. See you in the soup.